want to cover a play I did today on MU because this play is one of my bread and butter plays for quick, relatively quick money. All right. And I can't say that I get this every morning, but if I were to sit and trade every all day, I would I could basically piece together a very solid day just with this one approach. All right. Um, and it's a very it's very basic. It's very basic, but it's extraordinarily reliable. And I'm going to I'm going to share it with you today. Some of you know this. I mean, it's it's not anything I haven't talked about before, but it's a good time for me to review this. So guys, look. When whenever I get something strong like this. Boom. I'm doing a terrible drawing job here today. Let's see, strong job, strong, like that, powerful. I will dive into the power, but with basically one half of what I want to do, because I want the bounce, okay? Now, if the stock, I will place orders immediately above me, multiple orders in different layers above me. I do this with hotkeys, right? You know, so there might be one 10 cents. So it could be 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents like that. It depends. It could be 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents like that. Okay. For you, it could just be two, like 20 cents, and then 20 cents after that, like that. But for me, it's multiple layers, right? So I'm looking for the stock to bounce to, to fill these orders. One, boom, two, boom. I'm growing with the orders, boom, three. And I'm looking for this to fail. I'm looking for the failure because of the violence or the power that was initiated there. All right? True power has an 87% follow through rate. To put that in perspective, it means that if you bet after true sheer, um, strong power, if you bet on, if you were to take a bet on lower prices after that bar, now I'm not saying how much lower, I'm just saying lower than that bar, okay, so we're going to make it broad, if you took that bet 10 times, you would be right many times. You would be right many times 10 out of 10. You would be right sometimes 6, 7 out of 10. But your average would be 8.7, which is practically 9 times out of every 10. So... How do you get 8.7? You get 8.7 because there are multiple sets of 10s where you go 10 for 10, 10 for 10, 10 for 10. All right, and it's only when you don't go 10 for 10 that it starts knocking it down from 10 out of 10. All right, now, what I want, now, most of you know that I do this. Now, but, but I want to, add the 200 there because a lot of times people are afraid that power going strong power to the downside has has reached the 200 a lot of traders think that this should be a buy but no it's a sell 
it's a sell because the odds are still very high. Maybe they're now 8.2, because, but it's still high that you're going to get lower prices down here. But the 200, what becomes higher odds is that the 200 will often bounce the stock more reliably. So you have two scenarios. You have the violence that doesn't have the 200 underneath, and there's a bounce and then a drop 50% of the time. I want you to know these numbers. 50% of the time, there's a bounce. The other 50% of the time, you get this. Look, violence, and then continuation with no bounce. 50%. 50-50. All right? So sometimes you get the bounce. Half of the time, you get the bounce. This is why I go into the violence because I used to wait for the bounce. And then I realized I got the bounce, but I, there were so many that didn't bounce and I just missed money. And I got tired of missing half of my plays. I realized after doing journaling, I'm like, I'm missing 50% of these moves, just waiting for the bounce. So now I don't wait for the bounce. I go in, I don't go in full, but I go in. If, you know, you give me that, that bar, I'm going into the bar. Then I'm throwing the orders above me, all right? Because some just don't bounce, and some do. But you guys know me. I want it all. I want the ones that don't bounce, and I want the ones that bounce too, because they both have high follow through rates. Now, of course, I'm going to be more profitable on the one that bounces. I'm going to be least profitable on the one that doesn't bounce, but that's okay. Something is better than nothing. All right? So, the violence can go, you can have these scenarios. Let me see if I can clear this to make a clear, yeah, a little bit clearer there. So you have these scenarios, violence that goes, that no bounce, violence, all right, that bounces and then drops. Okay, and then you have violence right toward the 200 and then break. The odds of the break is still high. And this is what I call the, my wrecking ball concept, right? This first drop is like a wrecking ball that slams into a building. The first contact doesn't knock the building down, but it does weaken the building at its core, at its foundation, so that now the wrecking ball swings back, and the next time it knocks the building over.